Hey, welcome back. This is part two of my toucan oil painting. I finished the drawing yesterday and now I'm going to be working on the, the first wash layer. So I have my jacket on here because it's like it's freezing out. I'll move the camera over so you can see what I'm doing. Listen, in Florida, 50 is freezing. So close, you can see my drawing. Are you able to, to join me today? Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you, if you like my videos. Appreciate it. It helps support my channel. Okay, so I'm just getting the colors out. Colors I think I'm going to use. Red. Any comments, please, you're welcome to put them on there. Get lonely out here sometimes. All right, so usually I start with the eye, basically in every kind of portrait or, or animal painting. I tend to start with the eye, so let me just take some, some lamp black. Just go in for where the eyeball is. Go at it. It is chilly out here. I'm so used to being hot and living in Florida. Where I'm from, Boston, this was like a, a warm day. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the shape right of my the eye of my toucan here. It doesn't have to be perfect right now because I'm going to go over it several layers after, after it dries. Looks pretty good for that. Clean that brush. Try to clean the brushes immediately when you put them into the paint thinner because then, then they get kind of wrecked. I used to leave them in there for days and they got ruined. I learned my lesson. Right, so now we have some green around the eye and some, some Indian or actually some lemon yellow in here. So let me. Take a flat brush. Grab some lemon yellow. And start to fill in this part here. basically following the drawing by I think the drawing is inaccurate and I just kind of like right here I think this should go over more here so I kind of brought it over even though the drawing was what was the right I'm just gonna fill that in there here Following the, the direction of the uh, feathers.
So my brush strokes are gonna go in that direction. I'm gonna follow that. Bring that down to here. And I have some green. Take a little sap green mixed with phthalo green. I'm going kind to of go around his eye. Don't think we can that too much there. Around his eye, sort of blend around. I know I need to blend this green into the yellow. I don't want to bring too much into it, so I'm cleaning off the brush. Get that kind of clean, and then bring the yellow up into the green there. So that gives a little bit better of a, a blend. So I'm bringing too much green now. Down in here. A little bit of redness, pinkness, orangeness here. So we'll sort of add in a little bit. And there's a lot of black in here. We'll start to fill that in. I don't want to have, I don't have to put, I don't have to put too many actually any details right now, I'm just kind of fill that in right there. A little black right there. I'm still going in the direction of where the feathers are, just to keep that continuity going. that red area there. Use a lamp black for this part. Lamp black is kind of like a grayish black. It's kind of I like lamp black, as opposed to ivory black, which has either 
like a bluish tint or a brownish tint, depending on the brand you use. I like lamp because it's more of a, a true black, I think. On the top of his head here. of the toucan. Brush clean, now I'll go to a different brush. And I have some green up in here. Sour green, yellow, and phthalo green mixed. I just get a cool in. Bring it over to around there. Then over to here. Red and green mixed together. There's a little peak under the beak. Beak and then over here and back. Bring this back like that. Wow. 
water it down a little bit more and bring it back to here and kind of sort of blend into the green somewhat. Take a little bit of a darker color and put some of those some patterns like right in there. Let's indicate those right now. Let's up here. Those a little. I'm going to go back to my detail round. Shadow under there, the beat comes together. That's kind of what I delineate where it's going to be. I have to go back and fix this area because I put a little bit too much black right in there. Just a little bit now because it's going to bother me <laughs> to, to look at it incorrectly. Blend incorrectly. All right, so. so basic, I'm getting paint all over my hands. That's a basic shape of the toucan. about painting you have to keep your hands clean because then if you start to get it on your clothes and your easel and your brushes and everything else then you get to make a mess i've done that a lot all right so i'm just kind of waiting for it to set up for a second here let me set up for a second i'm going to go around it And it's going to be almost all sap green around. Yeah, so I decided to put in some loose brushwork around. I have to get the feel of some kind of a background being in there. Bunch of loose strokes. Try not to hit the can. Oops. Green. Sap green has kind of a 
I don't know how to describe it, like a brownishness to it. Sometimes you have to put a little bit of phthalo green into it to make it look more like a, if you like right there, I put a little bit of phthalo green as opposed to here. It has more of a true green color. That green's a nice color, but it is a little bit uh, brownish. That kind of doesn't look that great sometimes. Good to put a little bit of phthalo green into it sometimes. I don't want to mess it up too much. See, notice how I'm not blending all this out. I'm just kind of leaving it like that. Getting a little bit of character there. A little leaf right there. So I'm going to leave that there. Just keep it loose. No watercolor right now, really. If you want to paint watercolors, this is basically how you paint a watercolor. A little bit more phthalo. See, I actually like that color better than here. I don't like people doing it. I want bright colors in this picture. I don't want it to be dreary, dark and dreary. Cheer us all up here. Here. I miss the exterior. Can be right now. Lighten that area right there. I'll just tap the tip down. Take some paint off there. Take some green and brown mixed together, uh, blue mixed, sorry, <laughs> green and crimson mixed together, to make a brown color. It's kind of tongue tied there. Green and crimson together make brown. All right, so going to be a branch coming there. A bit wider. Branch there. Fill this up. A branch coming this way. One coming there like that. Just real nice and real loose. This one's sort of the background right there. Branch there. Yeah, this thick one right here. Oops, I want this to move around on me. I have to put that down so it keeps it from Floating around. Down to there. That's a big thick one right here. And go right into that point. So, with that brush, let's uh, now define some of the branches of the leaves a little bit more. Remember what I'm thinking today. 
Yeah, what I'm seeing. A little bit darker green color, just it's real loose. I'll put a couple of feelings of leaves. Give the background a little bit more variety. Have a couple up here. More of a tropical feel to it. Okay, so all right, so that is the underlayer wash of toucan. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, anything, just give me a buzz and uh, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. It helps support my channel. And thanks for watching. See you next time.